Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to take my van in to get that rib on the ceiling fixed. It's like a ride. I just got that rib fixed and I wanted to show you. They just welded it back together. It's looking pretty good. So let's move on. Right now I'm just gonna rip off that top part and uh, get that floor on the bottom removed so I can take a look at that. I have to remove all those seats, but let's get started. I just got done running around to try and look for some more tools that I needed. I was planning to remove the seat to get the floor up front in the cabin taken off and so I can look at the the floor underneath the seats. But there's a pretty big, um, I guess like a s screw, but that has the star shape on it. And it's a pretty big one that I don't have. So I went to go look for that, um, couldn't find it. I decided I'm going to wait until I am done with the back because the back part's the most important right now and I can come back to this and clean it up later. But also in the back I found another problem. I think I showed you guys this before. Um, there's this jack over here in this corner and then there's those little screw looking things but there's no way to unscrew them. Probably see that one a little better. I went to the auto parts place first just to see if, mainly for the front seats, but they didn't have anything. What they told me is uh, the best, easiest way to do this is just to grind those down, grind the heads off, and it should just drop off the on the bottom. Let me see if you can see it back here. It kind of flower out like that. So the first thing I'm gonna try to do is use a pliers to fold those back in and hopefully be able to pull that out. But if not, they said that I'm gonna need to just grind it down using the angle grinder. So I'm gonna do that if I need to. So I'm gonna wait on the cleaning because that's not super important right now. I need to get the space cleared off. So I'm gonna get that done and uh, let's see, see how it goes. Well, I just tried it with the pliers. It didn't go so well. It's too hard to get back there and uh, get those uh, bent in. So I'm gonna try the ones on the bottom, but then I'm just gonna go straight to the angle grinder if it doesn't work. So I just tried the ones underneath. Same thing, it's gonna be too difficult, but that's exactly why I got those tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the angle grinder and see how it goes. I just got that jack removed, it's looking good.
So I wanted to show you my insulation here real quick. I ended up going with sheep wool from Havelock Wool. Even though I'm not doing insulation just yet, the reason I opened it up is because I'm gonna need some to put around the fan area. I know most people don't do the insulation until after the fan is done, but the reason I am doing part of it now is because I've seen some people, instead of just going into the ceiling of the van, um, they put a little bit of wood um, under that ceiling so that the screws um, screw into the wood and not just the thin frame. So I want to do that, but I want to get insulation un or in between the ceiling and um, that piece of wood. I'm probably just going to end up using the plywood that I want to use for the framing uh, or for the walls and ceiling anyways. Um, so it should be even all the way around and I won't have to worry about that. Hey everyone, it's nice and early today. This is day, what day is it? This is day 11 for me. I had to get up early today because I'm gonna get the fan installed. I have to do it before I head out to work. And the reason I have to do it today is because it's one of the days that it's not gonna rain. I don't want it to rain while there's a giant hole in the roof of my van, so we're gonna get that done today. So I'm going to install the fan right here. I'm um, planning to have a kitchen area, probably a little burner top to cook right here. So I want to have a fan as close as possible to that, so it'll be right here, starting right here. and go this way as far as I need to. And I checked on top, as long as I'm within this groove here, I should be okay up top in terms of putting the roof rack, so I think it'll be okay. And yeah, like I said, I only need uh, 14 inches from here to here. I'll need more on the roof rack, but in here that should be fine, so I'm going to do that real quick. So now the reason I'm using the base here is because um, the hole is going to be 14 by 14. We also need space on the side for those screws to mount into the ceiling. So that's that outer that's that outer edge right here where those screws are going to go. So I ended up getting a set of extra uh, jigsaw blades. I was told that it would make this job a whole lot easier um, compared to using just a standard blade that comes with a jigsaw that I got. But the reason I have the jigsaw blade out is so I know what uh, size uh, drill bit to use here um, to make sure that this is going to fit in the hole. But I'm going to cut the roof rack first before cutting up the ceiling here, but I want to have those holes in there as reference to where that 14 by 14 inch hole is going to be. through the tools real quick. The tools that I'm gonna use for installing the fan. The first thing I'm gonna use is this angle grinder. The reason I'm using an angle grinder is to cut the roof rack. It's uh, a little stronger metal than uh, just the uh, van ceiling. So I got this pack at Harbor Freight. The main reason I got the pack was uh, it included five cutting plates. I was told that these can uh, break sometimes and I want to make sure I have enough for cutting the whole roof rack section that I'm doing. Now the next thing I'm going to use is the jigsaw. So this is one of the extra blades that I was saying that I got that's uh, specifically for cutting metal. I'm using the thick version. There's like a medium and a thick in this pack that I got. But I'm going to go with thick, just see how it goes.
so all my batteries died. I'm gonna wait till those recharge to finish cutting up that roof. I had to finish cutting this out at night so I wasn't able to get the full video of me cutting it out. But this is the final product. Um, these parts right here where the uh, thick metal is at were hard to cut but eventually got it figured out. So next we're cutting out the hole for the actual fan here.